Hi there, everyone. This is Scrappy Kathy with, um, a, again, a day late with my uh, layout share. I've been <laughs> madly um, trying to convince myself that I'm going to be able to go to uh, the Scrapping Reflections retreat that I've been planning for months and months and months. Um, as you know, there's... Uh, you know, <laughs> the, the mold problem might uh, intervene and, and uh, prevent my going, but I'm proceeding as though I will go. So, uh, I'm trying to get ahead and get all of the videos done for 30 Days of Sketches and Scrap Timber, as well as my normal series, The Challenge Accepted, which is doing 30 Days, and the Scrap Squad Sundays, and the, which me, reminds me that I have one to do today for tomorrow, um, and the um, Mixed Media Frenzies. So <laughs> I've been like a mad woman making three or four videos a day, it seems like. Um, I'm on, I've got, uh, first of spending wise, I went to my local scrapbook store. It's the first time I've been there. Um, in a while. I didn't go at all in 2020. Um, I think I made some uh, phone uh, and pickup orders, but, uh, and I used to go to classes there a lot, and um, John, <laughs> John used to take me there whenever we went to the, the eye doctor, which is right close to, to there. So, walked in and, and uh, um, saw, you know, Bonnie, the owner, it was wonderful to see her, and we talked and caught up on things, and they had some beautiful supplies, and one of the things I had just gotten in was the Simple Stories Family Fun Collection, and I've seen other people use it, and it is just amazing, so I went ahead and got it, and I've actually got it on the table because my next video, I'm going to use a title from that piece there. So, I spent money on a collection. I, and I'm not sorry. <laughs> and I also bought a few things uh, to give as um, gifts to the other people at the, at the retreat. And I bought a few, they have some very unusual sequin mixes and sequin um, um, packets, and I bought um, a few with the idea of combining them into my own mix, and I did that, and then I'm giving a teaspoon of each of that mix to everybody at the retreat. And I'm going to show you right now one of the mixes that they had that I just adore. It's a Halloween mix that has little pumpkins and little um, half moons or quarter moons and purple. So there's yellow, orange, purple, and every once in a while a green in there. I'm probably going to alter this mix and black. I'm going to alter this mix to add a little bit more black and a little bit more lime green in, in like two or three. I'm going to probably mix it with some things from a Spiegelbaum Scraps mix called uh, Lime Twist, Limeade Twist or something like that. And this will be the perfect Halloween mix. And I'm going to maybe try to do a big gigantic shaker pocket for Halloween. So, I, I just love it. Okay. Having said all that, I now have seven, I think there's seven or maybe eight layouts here to uh, share with you. And I have a stack of nine more that I did during the week, but can't share with you because they don't go live until uh, after today. And then I have one that's in the works, and, you know, I had all kinds of, of uh, 
strange things happen. Um, of course, the mold thing necessitated moving everything out of the office um, area and, and out of the workshop area, uh, both areas containing lots of scrap supplies and things that I use in my scrapping and filming, like my <laughs> computer and printer and scanner. And so I, I'd move all those things and set them all up on my new dedicated uh, gel printing and sewing table that I had really just set up and just gotten uh, storage towers to um, kind of facilitate um, using vertical space instead of taking up uh, table space footprint uh, on the table. And so everything is a colossal mess, and I, uh, I, I tried to print something yesterday. I printed the first photo of the day, and it was fine. Uh, worked just like normal. Second photo I tried to print, um, or set of photos I tried to print, the paper wouldn't feed in my printer. So I grumbled and grumbled and grumbled and didn't know what I was going to do and went off and did something else. And then it, I got the idea that, well, okay, my, I was trying to feed an eight and a half by 11 and the little gears that kind of do like that, that feed, push the paper down um, so it can be printed. Um, those gears weren't working. And so um, I thought, well, if I use a bigger piece of paper, a 13 by 19, it'll engage gears kind of over here that the eight and a half by 11, you know, wasn't engaging and maybe that'll make a difference. And the paper's thinner, so maybe that'll make a difference. So I fed that in and it worked just fine. So I have um, several 13 by 19, uh, sheets printed and as you can see I've cut some photos out so some of these will be for the retreat some of these will be for scrapping I'm going to do before I go I've got plans for this one for example so I'm happy the paper's thinner but I map my photos and put foam behind them anyway so it's all good now on with the layout share. <laughs> so that's my life story. Now let's talk about let's talk about pages. Uh, this was last week's uh, Scrap Squad lift, uh, Scrap Squad Sunday uh, video for this one, and I was using two different collections that had brown in them. And go figure, I actually love brown and pink and that little guy is folded over so there are so many things that have been piled on top of these uh, i really had to kind of uh, separate them out and lay some things even on the floor just to see what i had so um i don't have the lift here uh on the back or anywhere else so i can't show it to you but uh i used a the, the colors were kind of built around this title <laughs> and, and, and this, this photo. This is Ava at the last, um, the last Friday night crop at uh, Archivers before it closed. And I screwed up on this page and ended up having to put these um, clouds there. They are apropos of absolutely nothing, but they cover up a mistake I made. Okay, so I'm going to put that to the side. This one, and, and this is what I'm doing now, is where I remember to include the sketch or the lift. I'll have it loose here, and I'm going to use both sides of the paper before I recycle it. This one I actually did some stenciling on top of. Um, this was the sketch, and the prompt was stars. So I made a page that looks like that and has stars. I did the, um, I had a stencil and I used a gold ink pen um, that's the same brand as my uh, white pen and my black pens, which are Signo Uniball. And it's a broad point gold and I have gold and silver. And 
I, I wouldn't have bought them except they came in a package with the white when I needed to buy it at the store one day. And I absolutely love the ink in there. So that's just a, a photo I like of John and me uh, at Epcot on his 70th birthday. Uh, this one, this was the sketch. And I saw the little crosshatch marks there and had to use my little crosshatch die from um, Bramble Fox. Uh, and I used the, um, I used two different Simple Stories summer collection. I think one is Hello Summer and the other is Sunkissed. And some round photos that show uh, Crapa, uh, Crapa and Ava are talking here. She's asking him to throw her. Here he's throwing her, and here the splash is all that's left. So I love that little series of photos. That was Those were taken at Margaritaville, and I'm going to close my laptop so it doesn't disturb us with that dinking. Uh, I did a Disney page for this one. This was the sketch, and the prompt was pattern paper background. I didn't have a full sheet of this black and white polka dot, so I kind of tacked on this other sheet. And here I'm using Echo Park's uh, Disney line called Magic and Wonder. And in fact, I cut one, um, I cut this little title piece out of one of the cut apart sheets. I have a lot of Bramble Fox uh, perspectives here. I have some black die cuts just because they're black. And this is a piano key circle that came from um, Creative Cuts Club. And I've used Dottie About Flair from their new September release called uh, a, a Day in the Park, maybe, or um, I'm forgetting the name. Let me look it up. And I'll tell you, it's part of the September release. And it is called... <laughs> Theme Park Days. There you go. And don't you absolutely love that it's a, a red, blue, and yellow um, plaid. It's, and I've used it here and put a, uh, it's great for layering other pieces. And there's a stripe. And then right here is one with stars. And it just matches the colors in, uh, in this collection so well. And I had some more of that crosshatch uh, that I hadn't used elsewhere. And I thought it would make a nice accent there, kind of drawing your eye to that. So I love that page. Here's one that everybody keeps um, uh, telling me, even though I posted it everywhere, I put this page, um, that my sunglasses are upside down. And I put them on without realizing that, and then I put these little hearts on, and it, they're glued down with um, foam that kind of gets them over this um, distressed Let's see if you can see that distressed area. I cut out this blue one, this green one, and this white one and distressed the edges. If I hadn't been planning to do the, the um, journaling around the outside, I could have pulled these out like they were pieces cut out of the pie. But I actually liked the sketch, the sketch looked exactly like this, where there was a uh, this half circle of rays and then a round photo. So I just kind of went with the with the sketch, and but this paper lends itself to so many um, you know different ways of of highlighting things. This page is kind of my sob story about. Um, the, some of the things I lost. This whole basket contained posters and handmade papers that were rolled up inside these posters here. This, this is probably a roll of about 16 posters 
kind of these two rolls have about 16. This one had a, a couple, and then there are some handmade papers rolled up inside of it. And all of these things got wet, and there's a, there was a water line. It, it, it not only got wet this time, but it must have gotten wet the, when we were on vacation because it's all moldy down in the bottom of that. So I had to bag it um, uh, using a particular bagging method before putting it in the trash. So I lost all of that. But I had in my scrap pile, I had some scraps that I had cut. These are gigantic rolls of paper. And I had cut some of these papers and they don't match. There's a white one here that you can see is torn. This um, kind of ultramarine bluish purple uh, with gold um, threads going through it. And this kind of multicolored, I, 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 it's, they're just beautiful papers. So I did some die cuts out of them and I pretty much used everything I had. I think I have a little bit more of this one. Um, but I wanted to use those papers, so I pretty much adapted this sketch to the size of the papers and how much of the papers I wanted to show. It's not a particularly well-designed page. I will admit that it's kind of um, frantic looking and there's a little bit too much. I'd prefer for it to have a little more orderly look like that where the smaller pieces led to the larger piece. But I wanted the, it was very important to get the journaling on there and so forth. So I've used um, flares from the Prima watercolor uh, set that was in the September release, just because they look so artsy and, and so perfect for these papers. And the prompt was sequins, so I've used sequins in several places. So, this one is one I did for um, Mixed Media Frenzy. Let me see, have I done the one for, I think this one was for Challenge Accepted. So we, this was 30 Days of Sketches, but also Challenge Accepted, which came out on Thursday. This is an additional one that was day 17 which I guess was Friday. And it came out on the same day as this one, which was uh, Mixed Media Frenzy. I couldn't really combine the sketch and the, and the Mixed Media Frenzy lift. Um, the original was a Vicki Booten page, and I used all Vicki Booten supplies in trying to do this. Uh, I did, um, instead of loose, paper hearts. I stamped the hearts using one of her stamps. I stamped these leaves and flowers out of cleanup sheets for my uh, gel printing activities. And the photo is when I was trying to take a photo of this beautiful um, uh, planter that John had gotten me for Mother's Day. And he opened the door and was using his phone. Didn't even notice that I was trying to take a picture. So Pretty much that's that's when John photobombed my Mother's Day photo. And I don't think I ever did get the, these plants have long overgrown the pot and been moved to other places. Um, but I and I don't I think that may be the only photo I got. I can't find one anywhere. Uh, and this is the one that went live today. It the sketch was this that had these three paint swatches and uh, going horizontally and then a vertical line of snowflakes and, and ink splotches. So I let Vicki Booten do the paint swatches going, to the, going horizontally and she did the florals coming down vertically. I did a little tiny bit of stamping, that, uh, like tone on tone stamping so that you can see that. And I filtered my photo to match the embellishments. And I used a single flare that um, points to my selfie. The, the prompt from... Um,